Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm showing you how to play the new Donkey Kong game on Citron emulator. And as they say on their website, piracy is not supported nor leaked games by them or me for uh, potential legal reasons aka Nintendo Death Squad. Anyways, Citron emulator, yes, I've talked about Yuzu and Ryujinx, both were killed by Nintendo, even though Ryujinx was always fully legal and Yuzu was mostly legal. But yeah, Citron emulator is another Switch emulator. On their website, citronmu.org, you can download their latest version. It will send you to their Git and you can scroll down to where it says Citron Windows Canary Refresh if you have Android, you can use the app mainline release APK. And if you have Linux, you can use this one. Now I have Windows, so I'm going to click on this and it will download the zip file. And once that is done, you open the zip file, you extract everything. And in their folder, you will have citron.exe. Now, if you open Citron, in this case, Windows try to protect me from having a good time. So press more info and run anyway. Now it will tell you the encryption keys are missing. Next to my guide, please have a look at their quick start guide if anything from the video is not clear enough. Now press OK and you can press yes or no to share anonymous data to help them out. I'm going to press yes to support them. And let's start here with the giant plus button. Double click to add a new folder to the games list. So the folder where your games are located. Now I have dumped my Switch games to the folder called Citron Games. It's a folder I made. Anyways, I'm gonna press select folder and right click scan subfolders. Now, you notice that the games are not showing up and that was because of that error earlier on, which had to do with prod keys and title keys. Now to add those, you go to file and open Citron folder. Now in here, there will be a folder called keys and you will have an auto generated file. And this is where you want to paste your prod and title keys. So I'm going to drag them here and after that you can close this window, you can close your browser of course, and close Citron and after this reopen Citron. And as you can see all my games are showing up including Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. But we're not here yet because I'm going to show you the best settings for FPS, controls and all that good stuff. First go to emulation and press configure. Now, if you have the time, just go through all of these things. You really don't need to do anything here. And under system, you can change your language, region, time zone, device name, memory layout. Keep in mind, these are unsafe, but feel free to try them out. If you have a brother or sister that also wants to play, you can have profiles, add or rename the profile. Now for online, I will do a separate video. And with these, I don't really do much. Now for CPU, I recommend keeping it on auto, but if you want, you can try accurate or unsafe depending on your FPS or issues that you're facing. Now very important under graphics, make sure you have Vulkan selected and your correct graphics card, not your integrated one. Now if you don't have a separate graphics card, you might want to try OpenGL, but I highly suggest you try Vulkan first and I do recommend a separate GPU. But that doesn't mean it's impossible to run with Intel HD. Now make sure these two are checked. And again, if you only have Intel HD, put this on CPU. But for the rest of you, put it on GPU, VSync on, GPU video decoding. Again, Intel HD users, you might want to try CPU video decoding. Now full screen mode, I like borderless. And for the resolution, I'm going to choose 2x because my screen is 1440p. If you're having FPS issues, then just keep it on 1x or even try the 0.5x. Now window adapting filter, I'm going to go with nearest neighbor. If you want the sharpest sharpness, you can try the super resolution from AMD. And anti-aliasing mode, I'm going to go for SMAA, which is the smoothest looking. This is for the AMD super resolution sharpness you can tweak that but what is also very important is under advanced graphic settings editor tristan here now don't check enable asynchronous presentation because then my game crashes on launch now for the rest you can check all of these if you want i'm not checking sync to frame rate of video playback because i use vsync now accuracy level if you have some fps issues choose normal 
I'm going to keep it on high and anisotropic filtering. I'm going to put on 16x because I know I have the power for it. And ASTC recompression method. I'm going to keep it on uncompressed. And VRAM usage, video memory, basically, usage. I'm going to keep it on conservative. But you can try the more aggressive option if you're having FPS issues. All right, back to the present me. Now for audio, I'm not touching these. This is where you can change your audio output device. I am going to change that. And the volume, which is very important. You can boost it to 200%, which is very nice. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to put it on like 20%. You can even choose to mute audio when it is in the background. Now, another very important thing is how you're going to play the game. So under controls, I like to use the pro controller, but some games don't allow that. So in that case, I would go with dual joy cons. So for the sake of that, I'm going to show you how to set it up with my Xbox One controller. So I'm going to choose it. Obviously, if you don't have a controller and don't want to buy one, you can obviously just play with your keyboard and mouse. Just make sure you know the buttons like X on your keyboard is A on the controller. So stuff like that. Now, as you can see, my controller works. I have no drifts, as you can see from those circles down there. And you're basically set up. Now I'm going to disable motion and keep vibration enabled. You can disable it, configure both of these. If you have a PlayStation 4 controller, you can even keep the motion on because it has motion in the controller. Now make sure console mode is on docked to get the best performance and the best look to the games. And from here, you can make a new profile, name it as you want and press OK. Now you can save that profile. If you want to play with multiple people, obviously go to player two, make sure this box is green and then choose their controller, set it up as you want. I'm not going to do that now, but uh, yeah, press OK. Now we're basically ready to launch the game, but if you have updates or DLCs in the future, which I don't right now, you just go to file and install files to Nandi and you would select any of your updates. Now again, I don't have it for this game. The same works with DLCs, you select it here, then you press open. It will show you a confirmation box and you press OK. Now if you want to mod your games or copy your save data to your Switch, you just right click it and either open the save data location or the mod data location. Now I'm going to run the game. Now for me, it didn't want to launch with Vulkan, but OpenGL works fine so far. I will put that in text on the guide itself. Sorry for the blur, again that's against copyright, but uh, yeah, please leave a like and comment down below that this works so other people know. Join my Discord if you need any help, you will also find a link to the Citron Discord there. Again for legal reasons, obviously we can't help with pirating the game or whatever, just buy it, dump it from your Switch. And the same goes for the prod keys, title keys and uh, other stuff like that. Also, I'm doing a Pokemon Heart Gold live series on my Twitch, so please follow that. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Peace out, guys. Peace.